EMBC 2025 has been an incredible showcase of innovation and community. We've seen engaging discussions, innovative research and breakthrough technologies, pushing boundaries in biomedical engineering. From young innovators to renowned scientists, it's been a week driven by curiosity and collaboration and real impact. Now, let's dive into the final day here on EMBS TV. We have a lot of work going on in the advanced therapeutic space as well, and also thinking about how we can design new types of materials that can interact with the brain in interesting ways to help with very complex diseases. Professor Molly Stevens shares her pioneering work at the intersection of bioengineering and material science, developing new biomaterials to transform disease diagnostics, regenerative medicine and therapeutics. In a space like EMBC, where we have, and this year, many people from all the different regions of the world coming together, is that you can exchange information about what is it like to be a biomedical engineer in your country? What obstacles are you facing? We hear from leading women in biomedical engineering about their career journey and the power of mentorship. I'm a member of the MBS since 1992. So it's really part of my life. We hit the halls to hear what EMBS means to attendees and what makes this meeting truly stand out. That wraps up our coverage from Copenhagen. If you missed anything, catch up anytime on EMBS TV YouTube playlist. Stay connected and we hope to see you next year in Toronto. Goodbye for now.